Hello my lovely buddies. Today we're doing a little bit different of a video. So a lot of you have given my black wall romance modded video a lot a lot of love so um anyway so i wanted to do a how to mod dragon age inquisition video so this is how to mod dragon age inquisition with your beautiful host the lovely sky bunny now the very first thing you want to do uh, you don't have to do this but i would suggest doing this is if you can see on my desktop here i made a folder here for my mods there a lot of mods and you can it's like shopping you can really get into it okay so let's pop this open now i am going to show you what is called frosty mods don't worry i'll put the i will put the link in description in the description below okay so first what we're going to do is we're going to come you can already pop in there you're going to come to nexusmods.com so if we go to the home page here you can see that there, this Nexus Mods has lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different games, okay? So first, what you need is something called Frosty Mods, okay? I already have it installed here. Frosty Mod Manager, but I am going to just pop it up here. Download here, okay? Then, after you download it, I'm going to pop this open. You're going to install it and you're going to get a page like this. Now you can already see that I have mine open. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click new. Now I already have mine here, but I'll just show you. You're gonna click new and you're going to go and find your already installed Dragon Age Inquisition. If you have it in Steam, you're going to come to program files, 86. Down here to Steam, double click, Steam Apps, double click, Common, double click, Dragon Age Inquisition, double click, and click here and press open, okay? Okay, so I already have a bunch of mods installed, but we are going to show you how to install mods. So now we're going to go back to this page, and um, after I do the, this little tutorial, I will show you a bunch of my favorite mods afterwards and give you some links to them um so yeah so now what i want to do today is i'm looking for a hairstyle for dorian if we type in dorian when you click on a mod you want to make sure that it says frosty okay you want to come down here to this this one doesn't say, so I'm not going to see. This one says DAI mod only, which means we can't use it for Frosty. One of my favorite um, modders is Caffeine Painter here. Caffeine Painter has a lot of beautiful mods. Um, I use the, as you'll probably see in my videos, this is I use this outfit for my humans. And he has a really cute one, this one here, for elves as well. Um, saddles for horses, which is really pretty. Um, and then this is one of my favorite ones. It just absolutely changes the game. He has a spring. He has a seasonal mod. Seasonal mods. He has spring in Thetis. He has fall, winter and autumn in Thetis. Um, I'm going to showcase the spring version later on in this video. These are just absolutely stunning and they literally just change the game around. What it does, as you'll see later with the spring, is that it'll put like flowers and cherry blossoms and stuff and it just makes it springy and bright and it's just absolutely gorgeous. You can kind of see by the pictures here. But um, I will show you in a video later. Okay, so as you can see here, um, this one says frosty only so that is good to go but we're looking for dorian so we're going to go back so there's a lots of different mods once again make sure um when you look at the mods make sure to read this i mean you don't have to like read it completely but make sure to read it just make sure that it's good for frosty if there's any special thing that you need to do um some of the hair mods in particular will say like it takes the place of this hairstyle so it will literally write over that hairstyle okay 
So we're going to come down here. We're going to click on Dorian manual download. And click slow download. Looks like it's done. So now we're going to go find it. Now you can do this two ways. You can go add mod. Click on it. Open. Or you could just drag it in. Okay, so super simple. We're going to go find our mod here. We're just going to do full. Pop it in. Apply mod. Later. So now we are going to launch the game. Now I have to stress this enough. Do not launch from here. Always launch the game from Frosty Mod Manager. It will not work if you launch it from here. Your mods will not load. Now, don't worry the first time. It might take a little bit to load. Also, with the environmental ones, it will possibly take a little bit to load the first time you go into an area. So, once you go in after like once or twice, it'll, it'll load perfectly fine. It'll be fine. But, yeah, the first time you go in, it might take a little bit. So, don't be... Too bad, but if it ends up taking like 10 minutes, then it's not working. Okay, so let's see if our Dorian has the mod attached. Don't worry, once it's loaded in, it's loaded in. Okay, so I haven't had my, um, I just got to Skyhold and I haven't had my conversation. So it looks like it worked though, but let's have a chat with Dorian. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. I suppose a proper introduction is called for, now that we're not running for our lives. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of the Tevinter Imperium. I was at Redcliffe when the Venatori assumed command of your southern mages, I only wish I could have given more warning. Okay, so, um, yes. So as you can see, it changed his hair. He looks much cleaner. Um, and there are lots and lots and lots of different ones for companions. So have fun shopping, you guys. And I'll do a little, uh, how do you say, montage now of some of my favorite mods. And if you have any questions, Feel free to leave them in the box comment below and look forward to my cinematic version and my new Cullen romance with our cute Natasha here. Okay, so this is the character, the enhanced character creator. I just want to kind of show you some of the things that it does. So it gives you a bunch more different options. There's some really cute ones, really pretty ones, freckles. Gives you a bunch more different options. Go back. It gives you like skin distinctions. Um, lots and lots, lots more different options there. Uh, character doesn't really do anything. Shine. I want it shiny. Pupil size. Eye texture. Freckles. Now I have some complexions here, so some of this won't work, but if you don't have complexions in, then these will, these will kind of work better. Um, and makeup. Makeup is the fun, fun thing. There's a bunch of options for makeup. Um, also, it has with the eyes. You can kind of make your own eyes, eye color here, which is kind of fun, so you could do like a red. Red with, and then it does do the inner eye, inner eye as well. Could do if you want to do red. Here's a, that's actually kind of cool looking, and also got scary. You know, pink. You can do whatever you want for that. Go gold. Um, eyebrows. A same thing. You can do whatever eyebrows you want, whatever color you want. Um, or you could choose between the ones that it has here. Eyelash, same thing. It's just like a much more customization. With the hair, some of the fun one of the fun things with the hair is so this is a this is a modded hairstyle that I have in. Cute, right? 
Um, so you could do the normal hair colors, but you could also do whatever you want. Look, so here's a cute purple. If you like blue, here's a blue. That's actually kind of cute, actually. Um, so you could do whatever color you want. And then there's this undertone blend. Now, different hairstyles, like, show this shows up different. Um, on this one, it kind of, that's kind of cool, actually. Um, on this one, you can kind of see it right here. Like, it's, like, shining right there. So yeah, that's a fun, like, um, custom, it just gives you more customization. I'm going to put it back to my, my, um, I want to use here. But yeah, so that's the en enhanced character creator. Um, I also want to point out that the eyebrows are a, also a mod, um, and I really like them. They also replace the eyebrows on the NPCs because what it does is it like like it, it replaces the eye M most of the mods that you put in will replace something so like this hairstyle replaces replaces a hairstyle okay so it takes whatever which one whichever one was here I don't know which one was there but what, whatever one was there it takes out now, um, some, if you're looking at hair mods, there will be some that will look like this, and they'll look like that in the character creator, but then when you get into the game, it'll be fine. So, like, don't worry about that. Also, about the hair, you need to make sure, I'll show you once we get out of this, but I'll, you need to make sure that it's on ultra mesh settings in your graphic or it won't show up sh show up that goes with um companion characters as well so yeah so that's the enhanced character creator so this is the um spring fall winter mod um the spring and the fall ones are my favorite but basically it makes every single landscape springy so as you can see in the, in the hinterlands here, there's cherry blossoms, there's flowers everywhere. Each zone is a little different. Um, the Dales has these beautiful white cherry blossoms that are absolutely gorgeous. You can kind of see Vivi's hair here a little bit better. Cherry blossoms. And it... It just gives it a little, the fall one is also really beautiful. I personally don't like winter, so I don't like the winter one, but definitely check those ones out. Yes. All right, so I just wanted to show off the um, no waiting. So this mod you can do, uh, if you don't want to completely 100% cheat, you can have it at different levels. So you can have it at 25% of the normal wait time, 50% of the normal wait time, 75% of the normal wait time, or no percent. Um, so this goes for these little, like, side quests here, which I've never been able to finish all of them within a, a single playthrough. So basically all it does is this. So you click on one. And... Boom. Done immediately. Yay! So I really like that one, um, especially if you've played this multiple times, like me. And it's just nice to be able to actually do all of them. so much for watching i hope you enjoy modding your own dragon age inquisition and once again if you have any questions or you come up with any problems please feel free to leave a comment and i'll try to help you out now i'm no i'll see you later Johnny.